name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, if you're joining us for this live stream Mass from Our Lady of the Angels Church at Franciscan Renewal Center. Um, I'd like to address specifically uh, Bridget. Uh, she's a four-year-old, uh, one of our family members here at the Casa. And so I know from, from your mom, Bridget, that you ask her, like, I want to be in the real church again. I can't wait to go back to the real church. Bridget, I just want to say to you and to everybody who's watching, this church is real. The church is always real in your house here. It's different, but we are celebrating the real presence of Christ, wherever you are. So I'm glad that you are joining us. This is a, a real celebration of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't, don't worry that you have to stay at home right now, but we are celebrating in a different way maybe, but just be assured that God is with you wherever you are. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book, book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who holds up my up. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove me wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thank you, God. God. The response. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, answer, answer me. For your sake, I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me. And the insults of those who blaspheme, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy 
but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, Wednesday night, tonight is also for our Jewish brothers and sisters the start of their feast of Passover. We heard that mentioned in the gospel today that, that Jesus and his disciples, following the Jewish tradition, were going to celebrate Passover that evening. The, the feast of Passover is such a tradition that, that is taken from the story of the Exodus, and we remember the book of Exodus, the story of, of Moses leading the, uh, the Jewish people out of Egypt, out of slavery in Egypt. And it's called a Passover because uh, the Israelites are supposed to smear their doors with the blood of the lamb so that God will pass over them. God will pass over their houses to save them, that they would not get any tragedy, any bad things happening in their family because God will pass over their house and go to the Egyptian houses to inflict damage, to inflict punishment. So I think it's, for me, it's, it's, it's such a contrast that, that the idea of a Passover, that God pass you over, that God pass your house over. And here, when Jesus is saying to the, the disciples, find a house, find this man, and tell him, in your house, my appointed time draws near, in your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. 
So instead of passing over his house, Jesus says, saying to him, I will stay in your house. I will celebrate this feast with you, with my disciples too. So I think it's, it's very telling for me at this moment in time where you know, a lot of us can go to a church to celebrate the three doom, the Holy Week, Easter, in, in our churches. What if Jesus is saying the same thing to you, each one of you, to all the families? My appointed time draws near, Easter draws near, Three Doom draws near, Holy Week is here. But in your house, I shall celebrate with you, with your family, with your children. Think about that, that Jesus coming to your house and wanting to celebrate the high holidays of our faith with you in your house. The, the Passover tradition, again, for our Jewish brothers and sisters, tonight they will have what they call a cedar meal. Cedar, from, from the word cedar, is called, it's, it's meant, it means order, because there's so many orderly things to do. Like you have to eat certain kind of food, there's a blessing, there's some reading, there's some um, uh, rituals of washing your hands, it's all ordered, the cedar meal. So I like to invite you to think about different ways of, of making this tradition alive, our tradition, our, our Christian tradition alive. Maybe you can read some of the scriptures that you usually hear on Easter Vigil. Maybe you can share about salvation history with your family, sharing about your faith life all kinds of things. You can find readings, ideas, all over the internet, in books, or just reading the scriptures. Whatever you can do to, to welcome Jesus to your house. One of the, the interesting uh, tradition for, for, for Passover in the Jewish uh, households is what they call the four questions. And they will choose the youngest child in that family to ask the four questions, and the four questions always begins with, with this sentence. Why is this night different than any other night? Why is this night different from all the other nights? And then the parents, the other family members will start telling, this is the different night because God has saved us. God has led us out of Egypt, out of slavery. God has saved us. So what if you do something like that? This is the moment that each family can be a little church, a real church, but a little church, but a real, that faith is alive, that God's, his, God's salvation history is, is retold over and over again to your family, to your children. Let's, let's celebrate this. this. This is the last day of Lent, and then we're going to the Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then Easter Sunday, this is a time for us to keep that faith alive, to keep the celebration alive in different ways that we have ever experienced probably in our lifetime. But I invite you to, to think creatively, to, to welcome Christ, to welcome God into your house. As Jesus is saying, in your house, I shall celebrate Easter, Holy Week, Triduum big celebrations, but God will be there with you. In this time of the Lord's Passion, when Christ offered prayers and supplication to his Father with loud cries and tears, let us humbly beseech God that in answer to his Son's reverent submission, he may in mercy hear our prayers also. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been betrayed by the leaders of their country, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have lost faith in the shepherds of the church, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who must live with the uncertainty of illness, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those who long for forgiveness and for those who need to forgive, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the dead, for the ill, and for all the health care workers throughout the world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this moment, I'd like to invite you to offer your own prayers from wherever you are. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O oh Lord, be present to your people in prayer, so that what they do not, so what, so that what they do not have the confidence or presumption to ask, they may obtain by the merits of your Son's passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant, exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, Eduardo his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray.
Endow us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gift to come, that, persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.